We are at the 75th Annual Convention of the American Bell Association in Knoxville, Tennessee. And we're going to be looking at an exhibit of miniature bells. And when this collector who put together this exhibit said miniature, she really meant it because these things are really, really small. And when I say really, really small, I'm not supposed to touch these things, but I just have to show you how really, really small this is. So let's look and see what we've got. We've got some celluloid and ivory bells. Now these are not really bells. Most of them don't have clappers, but, but some of them do, but these do not. And we've got a little swan, or well, maybe that's not a swan, and an elephant. And this one is three elephants stacked on top of each other. Here are some crotal bells. These are, they have a little ball inside and when you shake them, they ring. These are from India by a company of, called SS Sarna. They've been in the bell making business for years and years and years. This is a, a twist bell. You, you, you turn the top part here, you twist it, and the bell rings inside. A Mexican sterling. And then some figure figurals and figurines. Here's Bell Star, famous Western character, real character, a wolf, and a lady. And again, they're very, very small. Um, let me get my finger next to it, and you can see it's not even the size of my full finger. Wind chime. A foo dog. And a hat button. These, these were this ball at the top in, in um, uh, the empire of, of China. The, uh, the courtiers would have that little ball on top of their hat and the different colors and different uh, materials from which the ball was made indicated their rank and how far in advance people had to start bowing before them. Here are some uh, from different places, some brass, some from the Isle of Capri, Capri wooden bells, Swarovskis, look at these tiny things some beautiful cloisonne bells. Look at this one. Gold plated. And look at the detail. It's so itty bitty and somebody did all that work and got those stones in there. Some wedge wood. Sterling silver. Brass. Itty, 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 bitty, tiny railroad bell. Look at that. Swiss cowbell and a sheep bell. It's gonna be a small, small animal. And then what do we got here? A metal pagoda. Looking up inside. And a lady in her robe and her gown and robe. bells. You don't see those very often at all. Some porcelain, and again, they're so small. Now we're getting just a little bit larger. Not by much. And some of the wedding cup bells. There's another video just about wedding cup bells that you can look at. And then we get some other bells from her collection. Again, none of them terribly large. Look at the faces on these two. Isn't that great? And then over here, 
we have some wedding bells. Now, normally wedding bells are quite large. You don't ring any of them by holding the handle because the handle can separate. So they're more, they're decorative and symbolic. But these are, let me spread out my hand so you can see about how large they are. I have small hands, so maybe we're talking about seven, seven and a half, eight inches. Most of the, the big wedding bells can be double that. Really, really large. So I guess that's why she calls these the miniatures. But aren't they pretty? Look at the workmanship, the detailing, the spirals. Just lovely. But here's the truly, truly, truly miniature one. I don't even have enough words to say how small this is. So this was the collection of miniature bells at the American Bell Association convention. And you can find us at AmericanBell.org. And we hope that we'll see you at one of our conventions.